Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over here at Cable Channel 3. And you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. And each morning between the hours of 9 and 12, you're welcome to join us at the south side of the square for coffee and interesting conversation. Yesterday was the official end of the summer season and that seemed to have bring, brought with it some upper level disturbance in the cold front that had settled over the area for the last several days. And so the temperatures over the greater Midwest will be generally near average to 10 to 12 degrees below average right now. And the highs will be the 80s in, in the southwest part of Kansas generally. And ahead of the next cold front, we should have an increase in showers. As a matter of fact, it was showering early on this afternoon. And we should see um, some more thunderstorms. The cold front and the associated showers and thunderstorms will roll southwards and eastward across the whole region Friday and, oh, and in the weekend. But right now in the square, you can actually hear the wind as it is roaring. And you can see the large trees in the um, square bend uh, and sway in the presence of the wind. It is quite windy and blustering. The skies are generally cloudy and the wind is coming in from the south, uh, gusting up to 35 miles per hour. And the temperature right now, it is in the 70s, but it feels more like 65. Uh, and for the next six hours or so, we can expect to see that cloudiness uh, with a strong wind and gusting winds as the temperature warms up to 79 for the highs today with the relative humidity right at 46 and tonight we could see the the temperatures go back down to 54 degrees with partly cloudy skies and the winds coming in from the north west at 40 miles an hour and a 63 percent humidity Tuesday it should be much sunnier with the highs at 80 and the lows at 52 with the wind speed at 16 miles per hour and also coming in from the northwest. And Wednesday pretty much the same pattern, highs in the 84s and lows in the 59s with the wind speed 15 miles per hour and the wind coming in from the south southeast. In our community, we want to wish um, Cleo Bartlett, he had a birthday yesterday, happy birthday to Cleo. And today is Harold Crocker's birthday. And today, Sam and Sharon Grisman are also celebrating their anniversary. So if you see these people, wish them a happy birthday and the anniversaries to Sam and Sharon Grisman. And on the 25th, we want to wish Mary Green, Kayla Estes, and Ginger French happy birthdays. In our community, um, we want to say congratulations also to the Grace Studio who got a $75,000 grant for restoration of the building and the grant is to help in the creation of an art studio, a gallery, a museum and even living quarters for a temporary artist um, who will pro provide occasional programs for the public. And this grant is part of a very comprehensive program uh, for this nonprofit organization. And they will accept um, donations. And if you want to donate to this great effort, I think it will add um, a lot of interest and um, 
value to our community. So you can send your donations to the Golden Belt um, Community Foundation. Those um, donations will be really accepted. And don't forget the start of the Warner program on the 25th. It's starting at the First Baptist Church and it starts at 6.30 to 8.30 for the children, kindergarten through sixth grade. And uh, they will be learning Bible stories and uh, memorizing Bible verses and good, healthy, creative ideas um, they have in their Warner program. So do call Roland Broder at 620-792. 4899 for more details. And last week, Saturday, um, the mayor had the first coffee morning, and there's another one planned for this Saturday at 9 a.m. Uh, to 11 over at Papa's Pizza. And uh, the mayor wants to have a talk with you to hear your ideas um, and you can bring all your concerns and questions to that coffee hour. Um, so the coffee hour at Papa's Pizza to meet our mayor between the hours of 9 and 11. And also on the 28th, mark your calendars, the senior picnic and it's a countywide picnic. Everyone in the county of Stafford is invited to the senior picnic at the Hudson Community Hall on Saturday, September the 28th at 6 p.m. The meal will be catered and everything will be furnished. Just bring yourselves and a hearty appetite. I know the food will be good. Uh, but they will accept a free will offering uh, to help defray the cost of the meal. And there will be um, some entertainment um, uh, come for a fun evening, uh, and the enter entertainment will be there. Please RSVP to your local senior center um, by today, Monday. Um, call your senior center and let them know. So you have to have these numbers to prepare for everyone who wishes to attend. And we have some new menus for you this week um, over at the Maxwell Center. They'll be serving up a pasta salad today with a tossed a salad, vegetable salad, and peaches for a um, lovely dessert. And tomorrow they will have oven fried chicken, mashed potatoes, chewed tomatoes, and sherbet. And um, on Wednesday, it should be pepper steak, rice, oriental vegetables, bread, and angel cake. So that's the offering at the Maxwell Center. And over at the Sunflower Center, they have grilled steak and mushrooms today buttered potatoes, breaded tomatoes, probably some fresh tomatoes, stuffed pe peach salad, and cream tart with topping. And tomorrow it should be roast beef with gravy, creamy mashed potatoes, parsley buttered carrots, and fresh fruit salad, and a sherbet. And on Wednesday, baked pollock with tartar sauce, baked potato, Japanese mixed vegetables and sliced tomato salad and a lemon lime dessert. So healthy meals all told. And our thought for the day, there are a lot of people who never forget a kind deed if they did it. And as they say, the golden thread that binds humanity humanity together is kindness. So kindness is our thought for the day. Thank you and have a great